Hey guys, today I'm shooting from lovely Palawan. I've shared with you in the past that I've been fortunate enough to call this little and humble part of the island as my home, well, at least some of the time. And as with island living goes, after many countless trips to the beach, I finally ran out of luck and encountered the much feared incident of getting stung by a jellyfish. So I don't know if you can see these two bruises here. So this happened around two days ago. I was fortunate enough that it wasn't a big jellyfish. When you Google it, you see their tentacles like all over your arm or all over your legs. Mine seemed to be small, so that was fortunate. It kind of just grazed through my head. Uh, thank you for my forehead for that. <laughs> It also could have hit my eye, which, more than being dangerous, could have been fatal, I think. And I'm sharing this video now, perhaps not so much for my regular subscribers, but perhaps you just encountered a jellyfish attack yourself and wanted to see what you can do. So I'm gonna share here what I did and what were the wrong things that I did. I ended up googling YouTube videos also on what to do. Um, I thought that there should be more videos to go by, so Stick around and let me share with you this incident. So it was around 5.30 p.m. I just wanted to get another dip right before sunset. Um, I was really just within, let's say, 5-10 feet of the water. So it was at a very shallow area. I was just kind of lounging around. I wasn't even really swimming. So I was there for a good 10 minutes already. Um, I dipped my head and I just felt this really... Uh, strong nudge onto my head. Um, it wasn't that it was strong, but it was like this warm oven hitting my head. Um, uh, this really warm, uncomfortable feeling. So you feel like you run into like a hot frying pan or again an oven. So what I immediately did was to get up, get out of the water. I did see this small um, sort of bluish lavender thing blobbing. Uh, it's quite small. It was probably like this. Oh no, it was probably like this. So immediately and confirmed, I knew it was a jellyfish sting. But I guess since it was on my head, I didn't feel that it was really too painful, not paralyzing me as it would be for some people uh, when they get bitten on their legs or their feet. So for me, the first order of business was to get out of the water and run back to my place. What I wanted to do was to immediately pee on myself. Yeah, about jellyfish and how if you... Unfortunately, that's the only thing I know. Ew! You peed on yourself? From friends, you know that when Monica got stung with a jellyfish, it was Joey who stepped up. That's right, I stepped up! Not Chandler. And like you said, if he had to... If I had to, I'd pee on any one of you. So I got home and gulped in a lot of water, peed on my hands, and put it in my forehead. Ew. But that end wasn't really getting better. So I started Googling, checking on YouTube videos. And this was my first mistake. Um, as popular as it is, don't pee on yourself. Um, what you actually need would be vinegar. So that's what I got to have the pain be lessened. Um, the second thing that I did that was wrong also was that I poured some wine onto my forehead. I know that's a little wasteful, but it was what I immediately had. And I don't have vinegar right at my disposal, but I do have wine. Uh, they say that alcohol would actually make the burning sensation even stronger. So that was mistake number two. The first thing that you should actually do, especially if the jellyfish gets hold of you, would be not to get out of the water right away. Try to remove the jellyfish while you're still in the water because it will be easier. And also you can use a bit of sand to remove the jellyfish from your extremity or whatever body part that the jellyfish clung onto. And I was thinking back, I actually could have avoided this earlier in the afternoon when I was going for my afternoon dip into the beach. Um, I felt that the water was oddly warm. It really felt like hot water. They say that jellyfish actually like the warm water. So that is another tip that you guys might want to take into consideration. When the beach water is unusually warm, that is 
something that the jellyfish actually like. And the third piece of advice is that when you're already handling the pain and you're trying to get over it, it's also good to take some antihistamines. That's one more thing that I guess I failed at. I don't even have any antihistamines here because I don't have a, you know, a regular allergy that I have to look out for. But they say that if you take antihistamines, then they could actually work in managing the pain. So to summarize those tips, first and foremost, if we could avoid the attack, of course we would. Some signs here would be very hot water. And the second tip here would be if there are no signs in the beach, um, perhaps you can ask a local boatmen or whoever. Ask about the occurrence of jellyfish uh, today or in the past few weeks because they will already know. Um, another sign that I could have taken note of was that there were a lot of boats in the area. I think the locals were already discouraging others from taking a dip. So it won't hurt to ask. Trust me, it will hurt less if it does. And for every trip to the beach, I'm thinking now that I should always bring a bottle of vinegar, maybe in a spray, just as a first aid kit. I mean, if you are bringing your shades, your sunblock to the beach, uh, you might as well bring a small bottle of vinegar just so that you are ready. And again, antihistamines, that is already after the attack. And again, during the attack, don't panic. I was fortunate enough to be just grazed by the jellyfish. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. I understand how debilitating it would feel again if it really wrapped around your extremity. So if that happens, don't get out of the water. Rub them off with the sand that's beneath you. So this has been a little different from what we're typically used to. Um, I hope that this is something that you find helpful. Uh, share your own experience. Jellyfish attacks may seem minor, but they can be fatal and I guess that's what's scary so please do take note. If you like this video please don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and travel safe!